Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you some action on UpCloud. So basically we are going to deploy Windows Server 2016 on UpCloud step by step. So in last video we have done the uh, product review at the and the services review for the UpCloud, what they are providing, how they are competing with the Microsoft and AWS. So 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 the in last video we have discussed how how they are using max power storage to give the additional uh, additional IOPS to the uh, servers. So so uh, how the servers are going to be performed faster than others. So uh, let's let's go and deploy the Windows Server 2016. So before we start, I'm going to share you one coupon code here. You can see this is the coupon code which I noted down here and you can see uh, find this coupon code also on the um, uh, description uh, of the video so this when you uh, if you plan to sign up for the upcloud uh, when you use this coupon it's going to give you this thing the promo code this is basically a promo code with my name Vikas Singh so if you sign up with the, this promo code you will get $25 for the upcloud to check out the products and all so you you, you will got $25 to deploy servers play with the servers and if you like it you can go ahead and um, bring it to production and this is how its product is going to uh, this um, uh, product review is going to be happen so I must recommend to go and use this uh, key uh, coupon to law sign up for the upcloud and then uh, try to deploy a few servers and just check out how the performance in um, if you if you uh, compare with the Microsoft or uh, AWS so go and check out this promo code and uh, sign up they have a very simple sign up button definitely you need to provide username email ID and password and then it will ask you to uh, put their credit card or debit card details so you can you can put your credit card and debit card details and they're not going to charge you anything even not uh, even single dollar uh, to sign up and then you can start playing with the service so this is how it's going to work so here I have logged in with the my account so let's go and deploy Windows Server 2016 on upcloud so here is my I have logged in with my account you can see here here with Vikas you can see here this is my account so now I'm going to click on deploy server and then we have a location what all locations we have so we have multiple data center across the world so I'm going to use the default one which is Germany either you can select as per your country or reason so I'm going to use the default one which is Germany DE so now if you see the plan we have a multiple plans here they have assigned some uh, like uh, uh, configuration based plan low, like $40 per month for 4 cores 8 gig of memory and 160 GB storage also you can select any of these plan either you can go and do your flexible plan here so it's going to prices you can see it's going to change when you are going to customize your machine for itself so for now I'm going to use the simple one which is I'm going to deploy with the 6 core and 16 GB this machine and this is going to cost you 80 80 dollar per month and scroll down and here's the storage name so I'm going to set my virtual machine scroll down to uh, the bottom and I'm going to set my virtual name here so I'm going to use the my machine name is you can call it win2k16 okay, vm01 so I'm going to just put the description also and now let's go up and the data center the plan which we have selected and now I'm going to make it the storage so I'm going to just call it C drive and then you can see the size also if you want to increase and increase oh, always you can add more drives if you need so this is the way desk is going to come and here is the operating system so I'm you have a multiple operating system like CentOS, CentOS stable, Debian, Linux everything is there you can see and if you have a custom image which is already uploaded you can go ahead and upload it 
and you can deploy with that machine uh, uh, that image also so I'm going to use here and I'm going to change the version to make it Windows Server 2016 standard and I'm not going to get the IPv6 here because I don't need IPv6 so this is mm, this is good and also you can see the more setting if you see so allowed login method only password and if you uh, check out it's not going to give you the option you can set your time zone if you need network adapter you can set it to real take e thousand or which I have which is a uh, red hat basically so display you can also set they have a two type of display and they have a this is basically come type of GPU you can say and send the password to you can set to, to do not send to email mobile message anything you can set it so leave it to email so it's going to once your machine is deployed they are going to send you password on an email so this is good and now we all done so this is only going to take few seconds to configure your virtual machine as per your requirement and when you click deploy it's going to take less than one minute to get the machine deployed so you can see here now service this VM name and this is UID of this machine and it's going to be deployed if I click on that you can see it's got one IP address assigned here you can see the server name ser server name host name all this just and here you can see it's deploying right now and you can see all the configuration which we have selected and location and data center everything and if you want to so I'm going to make these things with me so I'm going to paste my IP address here which I have and the username is always going to be administrator by default and password we will receive on email and it's going to show you pop up here once the machine is deployed so this is good and you can see the statics also for the virtual machine and that's all if you wish to change these things you can come here and you can change it later on also so now you can see we casting a starting server starting so it's going to start server soon so if you go here console you can take the console actually so you can see the machine is started now and it's pop up the password but you see here this is the password for this machine so I'm going to mm, note down this password also here will help us to log in and now the machine is started you can see here and I'm going to open a console collection to just uh, verify where we are on machine so you can see it's connecting now we can see it's applying the customization settings to this machine it's going to take few seconds to get the machine up so uh, mainly it's going to take uh, around one to two minutes to get the deployment done and machine ready for the RDP and all so so this is the one of the best part about the up cloud you can actually see what's going on in your machine by using taking the console of that machine so this is good thing also you can control the like oh size size whenever you want to change the size of the virtual machine you can change here but you need to make sure your machine is in shutdown state you can click on from here you can just click on backup so it's going to take your back so currently you can see this machine is getting restored because it's basically deploying from the template so it's going to show you the restore this is good and now you can see the your machine is almost ready when I click on next and it's all done now now you can see this machine is deployed and waiting for administrator to put the credential so I'm going to log into this machine by using this credential so let's try so here is my details so I'm going to put this IP address here and connect and then I need to put administrator as a username and my password which I got I will show you the email also which we received related re password so you can see the machine name is uh, generated automatically which due to sysprep so we can change it anyways so now you can see 
we got login to the server and this is pretty fast and now if you go to task manager and you can see all the all the configuration which we have did for machine so you can see it's got six virtual processors and it's got 16 gig of memory and two NICs one NIC for basically for the public IP address with, through which we are uh, currently RDP to this machine and one is their utility network from their uh, from this network basically upcloud is managing the their infrastructure so this is good and now we can go ahead and rename this machine as per my requirement like you can rename it to win2k16 vm01 whatever you call it and then you can go ahead and verify the disk also so you see here this is our disk we got 320 gig disk so I'm going to call it OS disk so this is good now we can go ahead and restart our server so now if I go here you can see in console the machine is going to be reboot you can see it's restarted even so now if I go to disk you can see here we got 320 gig of disk so now let's log in again to this virtual machine which we have just deployed and verify the rename and all is done so you can see the now version machine name is changed so you can see how fast this machine is so this is the way you work with the, this type of uh, windows deployed machine on upcloud and whenever you need you can just go ahead and uh, click on backup it's going to run your backup job so here you can see if you want to take the backup just click on the disk which you want to backup and you can go ahead and click on take backup so it will start your you can see it's going to start your snap uh, backup on demand backup and if you want to schedule a backup uh, on like on a day on specifically any day or whatever time you can go ahead and select and if you wish to like on a Monday what time you want you can set it and it's going to choose after one day after two days you can set it so this is the way this is going to work and you can see on on the if you want to delete on on demand backup you can go ahead and delete from here if you wish you can go ahead and restore from here so this is the good ui and simple management they provide uh, see your machine is running and if you wish to go ahead and verify the statics also is going to be available after some time when you deploy the virtual machine so this is good so this is how we uh, we deploy our virtual machine on the upcloud and this is the email which I was talking about so you can see here the machine is was created and it's going to give you the user ID and password and the machine name here you can see these all details and also they are going to give you the customer support uh, details in case you need any help they are available 24 into 7 to help you so this is all about the uh, deployment of Windows Server 2016 on upcloud step by step so I must recommend you to go and use my coupon code to sign up on the upcloud and try to get play with it and you will get $25 to play with it so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye